All right, so let's take a look at another optimization problem. Uh, I've got a bunch of them that I'm working. Uh, you can find them in my derivatives playlist on my channel. And uh, go ahead and check those out and give me a like, share, and subscribe if you like the videos. All right, so it says find the point on the curve y equals square root of x that is closest to the point 3, 0. So we want to minimize the distance. We want the minimum distance from the point, from this point to a point on this curve. Well, let's draw a picture of it. All right, so if we draw a picture here, well, if we graph the square root of x, well, you know the point 0, 0 is on there, and then 1, 1, and then 4, 2. Okay, so the graph of the square root function it's going to look something like this. Okay. And then we've got the point 3, 0 out here somewhere. Okay. And this is the point 3, 0. And we want to find the distance from this point to the curve here that's a minimum. Okay. Now, so we're going to minimize this distance. We'll call that D. All right. So basically, I'm minimizing the distance between two points. Well, do we know the distance between two points? Yeah, that's, remember the distance formula is d equals the square root x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. So I need two point coordinates. All right. So we've got this point coordinate. Now I need this one. Well, if I come over one unit, if x is 1, what is y? It's the square root of 1. If I come over to, let's see over here, to 4, what's y? It's the square root of 4. See that? So if I come over x units, what's the y coordinate? It's square root of x. So this point here would have the coordinates x square root of x. All right. All right. So let's look. Well, all right. So I need to minimize the distance from the point 3, 0 to the point x square root of x. All right. So I don't know. We'll call this. We'll call this point x1, y1, and this one x2, y2, and it doesn't matter. You could call this one x1, y1, and this one x2, y2, you'll get the same answer. All right, so let's, let's see what the distance is. So the distance is the square root of uh, x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay. All right. So the distance is going to be the square root. And so this is going to be what? x squared minus 6x plus 9 plus, and then this, well, square root of x minus 0 is just square root of x, and then the square root of x squared is x. And, and remember, this right here, this x minus 3 squared, just remember, that's x minus 3 times x minus 3, and you fold it out and get the x squared minus 6x plus 9. And so I get my distance is x squared minus 5x plus 9. So this is my distance. So distance is the square root of x squared minus 5x plus 9. That's what we need to minimize. All right, so we've got to take the derivative of this thing. And, and look, just real quick. This here, you would change that to an exponent of 1 half and then use the chain rule. Look. There's a shortcut for finding the derivative of a square root. I've got a video on it. You can 
you can uh, search for it on my channel but I'll show you real quick here um, the derivative is now to take the derivative of a square root it's two times whatever the square root is okay that goes in the denominator every time two times whatever this is and then in the numerator you put the derivative of what's underneath the square root so that's just 2x minus 5 okay and that's just a quick way to find the derivative of a square root if you want to see more on that check the video out all right so now we set the derivative equal to 0 okay and solve for x well we know if we have a fraction the only time that this is equal to 0 this fraction here is when the numerator is equal to 0 and so we set the numerator equal to 0 and so we get x equal 5 halves all right now we have to uh, well we can show that this is a minimum if you you draw the line here do the five halves okay that breaks it up so this this would be what uh, we can use x equals zero and we can use x equal three okay well no yeah we can use three you just need to make sure whatever you know when you pick your x values make sure you're in the uh, you know you're gonna have to be in the domain of the of the radical down here all right so if we plug the zero in well when we plug the zero or the three in the denominator is gonna always be positive and so if we plug the zero in we got negative negative over a positive is negative so we can see that's decreasing plug the 3 in that's 6 minus 5 that's a positive over a positive that's increasing and you can see we have a minimum there and so this is our x coordinate 5 halves so what's our y coordinate well our y coordinate is well what is y equal it equals the square root of x so that's the square root of 5 halves and so that would give us 5 halves square root of 5 halves okay and this would be your this would be your solution here okay and you know if you wanted to you could rationalize the denominator you, you should know how to do that uh, we would just split that up into square root of 5 over square root of 2 multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2 and that's going to be what square root of 10 over 2 so either one you know, whatever your teacher prefers all right so thanks for watching Give me a like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other videos. Thanks.